hey what's up guys welcome to another tutorial on salesforce bold so guys in today's episode we'll be creating lightning web component as a quick action into the salesforce org so recently guys in sale uh, in summer 21 release salesforce introduced lightning web components as a quick action and that was a big relief for the de for developers because earlier we have to use the aura one to you know just to display we, we can just wrap up the lightning web component into the aura one and then we were displaying the aura component as a quick action but now we can uh, select the lightning web component as a quick action directly so guys salesforce has introduced uh, two types of uh, lightning web component quick action that are available in the latest summer 21 release so the first one is the standard uh, the aura way uh, in which we we can have a screen based lightning web component it will just come up as a pop up on the screen and uh, there will be some buttons in the footer there will be body and there will be header and the second one is guys headerless quick action so headerless quick action guys it is uh, same like the on click javascript on buttons so there will be no screen for these headerless actions so you can just directly execute your code on the click of the quick action okay so guys in today's video we'll be creating both examples so first of all we'll be having a lightning web component with a screen action and after that we will have a headerless lightning web component and we will have both as quick action on a lightning uh, record page so guys uh, for now these uh, quick actions are only available for lightning record page only and these are available for few standard object like account contact and leads there are few more you can find more details in uh, official document i will share the link in the description of this video okay so i have already created two components here guys so let me just uh, show the code to you one by one and before that let me just open my org okay so i will just open my default org okay so this is my default org guys and in today's example we'll be creating two lightning web components and we'll be displaying those lightning web components on account page quick action okay so first let's start with the standard one the visual one in which we'll be having a pop-up okay so for that guys i have created a component component name is quick action lwc so here uh, in the body contact in the html page you can see there are some prefix uh, some predefined tags for that like lightning quick action panel where you can mention the title of that uh, lightning quick action after that you can have the body context uh, you can have anything you can have a form in the body or maybe some text or maybe some notifications after that you have to include the footer part in the footer part usually we are having buttons like save and cancel or proceed and cancel or you can modify it based on requirement so in my example i'm just having a cancel and save button on save button i'm not having any code here but on cancel button i'm having close action function okay so let me move to the javascript part which will show us the close action so in javascript part guys first of all you have to import the lightning element which is default i think and we don't need this api here so let me just remove it okay and after that guys to close the lightning web component you have to import close action screen event from lightning actions okay and then you can just use the method name here and that method name you can just simply uh, dispatch the event the close action screen event which will close the lightning web component pop-up okay and guys uh, there will be some new modifications in the xml file also so let me show you the xml file okay so guys uh, in your xml file first of all make sure your component is exposed to the org if it will be false then the component will not be displaying under the quick actions and the component can, can target only re lightning record actions right now so we have to uh, add a target here and for the configuration guys for lightning record action configuration you can select two actions here we are having screen actions and we are having simple actions okay so screen action can be used whenever you would like to display screen the visual of the component action can be used whenever you would like to execute the javascript part directly okay and guys once you have set this action type you cannot change it after deploying the component i think it is storing this action type somewhere in the memory so that's why you won't be able to change it if you would like to change it like let's say you have created a component using action only and now you would like to modify it to a screen action so in that case you have to delete that component and you have to create one and deploy it again with the new action type okay so uh, let me just deploy this quick action first 
I think it is already deployed, but recently we have made some changes in the API section. So let me just redeploy it. Okay, it is deployed successfully. Now we will go to the account object. Here's account. We will go to button links and action. And here we can create a new action. So the component name was uh, quick action LWC. Okay, so we will select lightning web component here. And here we can select the component which is quick action LWC. Okay, let's have a label here. Let's say um, a screen action. Okay, and save it. Okay, let's go to the account page now and see the output. So it will be on the record page itself, which will be on the detail page. Let me open it. Oh, uh, I think I missed to add into the page layout. <laughs> so let me just add into the page layout first. So this is the page layout. This is the account default layout. And uh, here we'll be importing it. So let's check the mobile lighting action and the name of the screen action. Let's add it into the first position so it will be displayed easily okay it is done so i think we are good to go now let me just refresh the page and here it is okay so let's touch this button now we'll click on the screen action button and this is the usual or maybe you can say the aura component pop-up it is same like we used to have an aura component so this is yes it is much familiar interface and guys if you notice we are not having any header here but in the code we have selected the header but somehow it is missing from the component i have checked multiple examples uh, for this thing but you know everywhere it was just missing so maybe uh, we will have the header in upcoming future meanwhile you can just create a custom header instead of that and you can have uh, that okay so that was the uh, the standard one so we can click on cancel so it will just hide the pop-up okay now let's move to the headerless action so this is the headerless action so guys in headerless action you don't need the html here so you can delete it simply okay okay so in the javascript part uh, here you have to implement the api also because for headerless action you have to include an api and you have to invoke that API and so this will basically uh, invoke the action on the load of the component so whenever we click on that button it will load the component and on the load of that component it will just invoke it using this API okay so that's why you have to use the API let's move to the XML part now so in XML part guys there is a little different in this XML part XML part if we compare it with our last component so the action type is action here guys because in this headerless action we don't need any screen there so that's why we are not using a screen action here we are just using simple action here okay so let me just redeploy it again because we have removed the html part okay it is deployed successfully now let's go to the button links and action we'll create a new action it is stuck let me reload this page okay so we'll select lightning web component we'll select our component which is headerless action okay and in label we can have headerless action let's save it and we have to add it on the page layout also so let's go to the page layout now okay move to the mobile link action and here's the headerless action so 
So let's scroll down and add it nearby the section uh, screen action. Okay. So as you can see on the page layout, guys, we are having screen action and headless action. We are having two quick action right now. Let me just save it and maybe we can reload the page now. All right, awesome. We are having two buttons here and when you will click on the headerless action, it won't display a pop-up instead of, it will just execute the JavaScript part directly. Okay, let me just open inspect elements so I can show you the console here. So as you can see in log, we have printed hello world whenever you will click on this headerless action. So as you can see, it is working in the console now. So that's how you can just execute the JavaScript directly. Okay, so guys, uh, that's how you can create these are uh, lightning web component as a quick action uh, you can just modify it based your requirement maybe you can have visual for uh, for your requirement or maybe you just need to execute the javascript on the buttons click so based on your requirement you can just have different types of lightning web component here and also guys you can check out the uh, official document i think it was learn more with uh, summer 21 uh, release okay so guys these are the summer 21 release notes you can directly go to that release notes and check out the official document there might be some additional details available uh, for that okay and apart from that uh, I think uh, that's it we are good to go so i will be having the complete code on my blog also guys which is salesforcebold.com so you can just directly go there and check out the complete code there as well okay that's it for today guys and if you like today's video subscribe to the channel it will be awesome i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching